All right, folks, it's October 2nd, 2024, and we need to talk about this XRP hype that's getting completely out of control. We better rein this thing back in. We better settle down. We need to stop hyping up this asset because nobody wants it. Oh, wait. We did just get the official S1 ETF filing from Bitwise today. It is official. It is real. And this is something I've been talking about is this XRP lawsuit grand finale moment. The momentum is building. Let's go through the checklist. I said stable coins ready to go live. Next is lawsuit conclusion on October 7th. We will see. Is the SEC going to appeal or is this case over? XRP lawsuit grand finale. But then I said at Ripple Swell Conference, watch closely because I had two other predictions. I said watch out for an ETF announcement and then also watch out for additional real world asset tokenization partnerships. Now, we didn't make it to Ripple Swell Conference. Just yesterday, the rumors started circulating. We went and verified it ourselves on the Delaware website. The entity was real. Bitwise XRP ETF. Is this another fake one? Remember the BlackRock one? And uh, everybody's been coming out of the woodworks too this whole time. Since January, when the Bitcoin ETFs got approved and I started to say, hey, XRP ETFs on the way. This whole time, I've had a bunch of people telling me that there will never be an XRP ETF because XRP is not a security. And you can't put something that's not a security into a security that would make it a security. Even though gold has an ETF, silver has an ETF, corn has an ETF, breakfast is an ETF. That's right. Trading strategies can be an ETF. It, it, I mean, you can make whatever you want into an ETF. And so I said it was inevitable. It is coming. And I predicted that even BlackRock is going to file for an XRP ETF eventually. <clears throat> now, we don't have the confirmation from BlackRock, but we do have the confirmation from Bitwise. In today's episode, I want to go through where we're at where we're headed, and this you know, XRP lawsuit grand finale moment, momentum building, is the hype worth it? That's my question for you today. Is the hype justified? Now, I know what some people are going to say. Well, no, because we haven't moved in price. But this is what leads up to price movement. This is the buildup, right? You get the fundamentals. That's what leads to building that base on the technicals. And then eventually you do break out. You get set free. They let it breathe. And the sky's the limit for XRP. So once again, stablecoin set to go live, lawsuit conclusion. So we'll wait on both of those, right? We still got to check those boxes. But as far as an XRP ETF, I was just expecting a conversation, maybe a mention, a maybe a, hey, we're thinking about it. We didn't make it there. It's, it's a happening. And so folks, let's, uh, without further ado, let's get right on into today's update. I did want to start by showing you guys that silver 32420 is having itself a morning up above $32 silver breaking a critical resistance. Let's watch it closely. Bitcoin back up off the lows of about 60,200, the lows that we cleaned out to this morning. Back up right now to 61.5. Let's watch it closely because we're ready to break. We could break down to some levels here. If we don't hold 62, next stop's 58. Watch out for that one. XRP, speaking of 58, we were at 589 this morning. We're at 585 as I record this update broke back down below the trend line. So was this a false breakout? Did we just get faked out? One thing too that I'm going to be comparing is the performance of Bitcoin. Remember, when the ETFs first officially went, um, remember, they started out with a fake news report as well. The BlackRock ETF or the Bitcoin ETF. Uh, I, I forget if it was they, they thought it was going to be BlackRock or if it was going to be somebody else. But remember the rumor. The rumor was is that an ETF has, you know, been approved, I think, what is how the rumor started back in October. That wasn't the case. And uh, it actually took a while before it actually did get approved. Um, and that was in January, right? January 10th. And that marked the top of Bitcoin at that moment. It went up to 49,000. So between the fake news that the ETF had gone live and between the actual ETF going live, Bitcoin went up, I think, from about 25, 30,000 up to 49,000. So it basically doubled leading up to the ETF going live. Now on the trading day when it went live, I'm, I said, this is the top. I said, watch out. We're about to get cleaned out. That's exactly what happened. Back down to 38,500. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was in Arizona recording videos in Scottsdale, sunny Scottsdale in January. Beautiful weather. Great times. ETF went live. Said, watch out. This is the top. It's coming back down. And then I said, watch out for the XRP ETFs that are coming as well. BlackRock's probably going to join the party. Now, here we are, fast forward, and we're watching XRP. We know that the ETF is for real. Are we going to see a, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news event, or, or buy the filing, 
sell the activation or sell the go live. I think that we will. Now, it's just a matter of, you know, is XRP building up a base right here and then we're about to see a movement over the next few months? It's going to take a while for the S1 to get approved by the SEC. I'm sure they're going to try to slow roll this one as well. So watch out for that run up until the ETF actually goes live and then we can expect the sell off. Let's watch that closely, but I'll cover that more in a separate video. I want to get into this. Ratha Kahneman shares here April market report on export payments from investment bankers. Hulahan Loki mentions Ripple as a swift challenger, along with other fintechs, many of which use Ripple and some XRP. Now, the point why I'm showing this here today is to show you guys that we're still getting mentions of Ripple taking on Swift, 190 trillion or 520 billion per day total value of cross border payments in 2023. But remember, cross border payments was just the first use case, the first target. Now we're expanding, now we're getting more uh, additional utilities, functionality, programmability. And Ripple, not just targeting cross-border payments, now they're working on custody, they're working on other solutions, of course, the stablecoin as well. So additional offers coming from Ripple. But in the meantime, they're still getting mentioned. And the thing that I want to point out is that all these other, all these other fintechs, half of them are Ripple partners. So you see, all roads lead back to Ripple, and all roads lead back to XRP. Now, continuing on, XRP, additional functionality, programmability, like I said, this is building. This is why the momentum is building is because we have the competitive advantage, the lawsuit's about to conclude. Second reason why momentum is building is the utility is growing. We're getting additional functions. I'm about to show you a couple. And then the third reason is we're just getting broader attention from the masses and the crypto bros and the mainstream media and Brad Garlinghouse going on mainstream media and them talking about Ripple being the darling and their growth story and all this and that. The spotlight is shining down on XRP at the perfect time for the XRP lawsuit grand finale and additional utilities. New vault and lending protocol updates on the XRP ledger, folks. Let's get it going. This is XLS 65D, which is single asset vault. We've simplified the design, so the vault now holds assets directly, cutting out two unnecessary transactions for a more efficient experience. This ties in with the XLS 66D lending protocol, updated to align with the new vault changes, eliminating the need for separate deposit and redeem steps, streamlining the process even further, both are compliance first. Updates address clawback and freezing requirements, making them simpler and easier to use. Check out improved uh, specs. And this has to deal too um, with multi-purpose tokens as well, where basically they, they're setting up this vault so that depositors you know, can put these assets in the vault for the on-chain lending protocol. Right? This is where we literally become our own bank. The whole point of crypto, not just XRP, the whole point of crypto, right? Be your own bank, down with the banks, we're not in the down with the banks camp. We're just in, hey, we're going to build something over here. And if the banks want to get on board, they can. Ripple's helping them. Ripple's partnering up with 400 plus institutions to get on board, right? They, they, they get them on board with uh, out using XRP. And then they show them the secret sauce and say, hey, you want to do it even better? Here you go. Of course, you're not going to be able to make all those middleman fees that you guys have been making. But this is, this is the inevitable path that payments is going. So if you want to get on board the train, here's your one-way ticket. Otherwise, we'll just keep on building and leave you behind. Now, the beautiful thing about the XRP ledger right now is all of these utilities are being added at the layer one protocol level. This isn't layer two. This isn't rely on these guys to create a smart contract. It isn't relying on anybody besides the blockchain to function, right? And this is completely decentralized. And this is what gets me excited where you're not even going to have to go to a bank to lend against your assets, right? Or use them as collateral. This is going to open up. This is just a couple amendments right here. A lot more on the way. Perfect timing for all of this. Now, <clears throat> let's talk Ripple Stablecoin because they are firing this thing up, folks. 1.35 million RLUSD minted at the RLUSD Treasury. This was on XRP. This brings now the total, I think, is over 2 million XRP, or sorry, 2 million RLUSD have been now minted, printed whatever you want to call it. I, I saw somebody in my comments thinking they were slick. Oh, you know, minty means just pressing the button on the keyboard. Uh, yes, but this is the technical name and term for minting stable coins, right? So mint it, print it, call it whatever the heck you want. The point being is that the stable coin is getting ready to go live. And this is only going to bring more liquidity back in. Once again, how do you get the partnerships? How do you get all these institutions to start working with you without crypto, right? Without XRP. 
And then when they want to delve into crypto, maybe they don't even want to go as far as XRP, but they want that stable coin. See, the stable coin is the bridge from the traditional financial world back into crypto or, or into crypto, I should say. And then from there, XRP will be the bridge between all the assets that are tokenized. Now, I want to give a huge shout out because this is just the momentum building. This is, this is why the hype is building right now. We have all this going on. Stable coin, additional utility, and now the ETF. And I want to give a special shout out to Eleanor Terrett because she is the one who delivered with the absolutely credible sources. That was her direct quote last night. And I retweeted Eleanor and she says, for those who need to see this and hear it, no, I did not post about the fake BlackRock XRP ETF filing last November because I was out of work that whole month with no access to Twitter. However, my sources on this Bitwise one are absolutely credible. So I retweeted it and I said, this might be different than the fake BlackRock ETF filing because when I went and I looked on the website, as soon as this came out, I went and verified it right away. I was one of the first people within 10 minutes of this first coming out where we had you know, verified it and I had started sharing it and blasting it out. And I knew that I was exposing myself and making myself vulnerable if this was another fake one. But my duty is to report what we got and then we can verify it in real time. This thing's moving so quickly. <laughs> Turns out it was real. When we wake up this morning, we get the official. And yesterday they confirmed that the filing was real and it was their entity. And they said that we would be able to tell you more tomorrow, which is here today. And that is this tweet right here from Bitwise. Today, we filed an initial registration statement on a Form S1 for a new Bitwise XRP ETP. ETP, ETF, same thing. Exchange traded product, fund, it's all the same thing. We believe blockchains will usher in new apolitical monetary assets and permissionless applications for the 21st century, said Bitwise CEO Hunter Horsley. Quote, we aim to help investors access the opportunities in the space and are excited to continue that work with our filing for a Bitwise XRP ETF opportunities in the space. So it looks like they are acknowledging that there might be a little bit of an opportunity with XRP. And a huge shout out to all the folks that, you know, if you want to give me an apology, you can drop it in the comments down below. All the folks that said that there would never be an XRP ETF. They called me stupid for saying that I'm, you know, that I was saying it was inevitable. That, that said I was completely wrong. They said I was losing credibility that, you know, you can't make XRP into a security. You can make whatever you want into a security. In fact, uh, you know, it, 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 you, you can package whatever you want up. I've made all these uh, silly examples, but it is real. There's trading strategies around breakfast where ETFs buy different companies that provide breakfast products. It's a breakfast ETF. You can wrap whatever you want. Trading strategies, uh, moon cycles, crypto, commodities, whatever you want. It doesn't change the status of the underlying asset. It takes an underlying asset and it wraps it into a security into the ETF. These are very simple. So for those that owe me an apology, comments down below. Thank you very much. Here's a little Easter egg for my latest piece on Bitwise filing for an XRP ETF. Eleanor Terrett on the scoop this morning. And what did she find? This is why she's on top of it, folks. Fox Business, one of the few in mainstream media actually covering this case, actually staying on top of XRP. Someone else incorporated an XRP ETF last week as shown on the Delaware Division of Corporations website, Canary Capital, the canary in the coal mine, a new crypto-focused investment firm founded by Stephen McClurg, the former CEI, uh, CIO and co-founder of Valkyrie Funds. So let the games begin. Let's have ourselves a party. But don't get too hyped now. The XRP hype is getting out of control. You guys let me know in the comments down below if it's justified or not. Here's what Nate Garassi had to say. Bitwise positioning to file for XRP ETF is highly noteworthy in my opinion. In short term, this is likely a call option on the November election, but Bitwise is highly credible crypto native fund firm that doesn't just throw stuff at the wall. That's simply not in their DNA. This is strategic. This is strategic. BlackRock comes next. Additional ETFs on the way. They're going to do individual XRP ETFs. They're also going to wrap these things into large cap funds. I'm expecting Grayscale to take their large cap fund, roll it into an ETF. And this is just going to be the first of many. Remember, Grayscale just fired back up their XRP trust. So let the party begin. Remember, this is the XRP lawsuit grand finale. Less than a week to go. We got five days for the SEC to appeal. Stablecoin ready to go live. Lawsuit conclusion coming in. I was waiting for Ripple Swell for the ETF announcement. We don't have to wait. Here it is. And then the final one is going to be additional real-world asset tokenization partnerships. I'm expecting to be announced and talked about at Ripple Swell Conference. The momentum is building in. Oh, wait, we're not done. 
John Deaton set to take on Elizabeth Warren for two debates next month, leading us up into that election. After the election, XRP documentary drops. Is the hype justified? That's my question for today. Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you tap it and smack it on the way out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Everything's at ZachRector.com. God bless. I am your host, Zach Rector. I really appreciate all of the love and support. If you want to support the channel, just remember that you can start by smashing that thumbs up for me, sharing this content far and wide, and everything else is at my website.